Base launch check and countdown net, pad is clear. 10, 9, 8, Launch auto sequence seven, has started. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Go for launch. Dragon, separation confirmed. Stage one is transonic. Landing lakes have deployed. And Falcon 9 has landed. Good morning. You are watching the 54th Starlink mission. The teams are tracking no issues with the vehicle or satellites. Weather is looking really good so far this morning, and we are proceeding with a T-0 in just under four minutes from now. The range is green and ready to support liftoff. And in preparation for liftoff, we do have the clamp arms opening up on that transporter erector. And the strong back will be retracting back slightly away from the vehicle. And there you could see a good view of the clamp arms open on that transporter erector. Around the T minus three minute mark will be the conclusion of the locks load on the first stage. And then at the T minus two minute mark will be the conclusion of the second stage locks load. Stage one locks load is complete. And stage one, pogo. Great call out there. Propellant is complete on the first stage. Again, propellant loading will conclude around the T-minus two minute mark with locks load completing on the second stage. And as you can see, weather is looking really good for T-0 today. Only about a 10% chance of violation for T-0 today. Again, we are coming up on propellant load completing on Falcon 9. Around the T minus two minute mark will be locks load complete on second stage. Stage two, locks load is complete. And great news, Falcon 9 is now fully loaded with 1 million pounds of fuel and liquid oxygen. And today marks the eighth flight for this particular booster, and we will be attempting to recover Draft it. Close out to start. We will be attempting to recover it again on our drone ship, which is positioned in the Atlantic off the coast of Florida. We will be attempting to land on a shortfall of Gravitas today. And for those of you following along, you'll know that this is our 33rd mission of 2022 and our sixth mission of the month. Falcon 9 is in startup. Great news with that call out. The flight computers have taken over the launch countdown. We are now awaiting the final call from the launch director. LD, go for launch. And awesome call. We are go for launch. So let's watch as Falcon 9 takes our Starlink satellites out into space. T minus 30 seconds. T-minus 15 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ignition. 
and lift off. Vehicle is pitching down range. Stage one chamber pressures are nominal. As you can see on your screen, Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off. Nominal power and telemetry. Really awesome views there on your screen. Falcon 9 is supersonic. With that call out, Falcon 9 is traveling faster than the speed of sound. Max Q. And great call that we have passed through Max Q. That is the largest dynamic pressure that the vehicle sees during flight. MVAC engine chill has started. Now, in about a minute, we will have three events happening back to back. That will be main engine cutoff, or what we call MECO, stage separation, and SES-1, or second stage engine startup one. And then shortly after that, we'll be fairing deploy. Main engine cutoff is where we shut down all nine of those MVAC engines that you're seeing lit up on your screen. That helps to slow the stage down as it prepares for stage separation, that's where the first stage separates from the second stage. First stage will make its way back to Earth, and the second stage will continue on its journey with SES-1, or second stage engine startup one, and that's where we ignite the MVAC engine on the second stage. Main engine cut off. Stage separation confirmed. MVAC ignition. Bearing separation confirmed. And as you just saw on your screen, we just had main engine cutoff for Miko, stage separation, SES-1 with on your right hand screen, you can see the MVAC engine igniting and we did have confirmation of fairing deploy as well. Now what you're looking at on your screen on the left hand side is a view from the first stage and we just saw those grid fins deploying. Those grid fins help to guide the first stage as it makes its way back down to its landing zone. And again on your right hand screen, that is a view of the MVAC engine on the second stage. So far, looking good on a nominal trajectory so far. Acquisition of signal, Bermuda. Now with first stage making its way back to Earth, it will complete a couple more burns. First will be the entry burn, and that's about two minutes away, or a little over two minutes away. That will be where three of the nine M1D engines reignite. That helps to slow the stage down as it enters back into the Earth's atmosphere. And then the final burn for the first stage will be the landing burn. That's just a single engine burn Preparing the vehicle to touch down, again, attempting to land on our drone ship today, a shortfall of Gravitas.
Now, if you look at the bottom left hand screen, bottom left hand corners of your screen and the right hand Both corners of your screen. Both stages are following nominal trajectories. You can see the speed of each vehicle, the first stage and the second stage, as well as the altitude. So you can see the second stage on your right hand screen is still climbing in altitude while the first stage is now starting to make its way back down to Earth. Just as a reminder, if you're just now tuning in, this is our 54th overall Starlink mission, and we will be sending 53 Starlink satellites to low Earth orbit. We are just about 30 seconds away from the entry burn on the first stage, and that is three of nine engines reigniting to help slow the stage down. Stage one FTS is safe. Stage one entry burn startup. And with that call out and visual confirmation on your left hand screen, the entry burn has begun on the first stage. This should last just about 20 seconds long, 20 to 30 stage seconds. Stage one long. entry burn shut down. And there you can see as the engines shut down, Both that stages concludes. Stages continue to follow nominal trajectories. That concludes the entry burn and also good call outs for nominal trajectories. And we're just about a minute away from Stage the two FTS is safe. From the landing burn beginning on the first stage. Again, that is a single engine burn, the center E9 engine preparing the vehicle to touch down on our landing zone. Again, today is a shortfall of Gravitas. Stage one, transonic. Terminal guidance. Stage one, landing burn. And with the landing burn beginning on the first stage, let's watch as Falcon 9 attempts to land on a shortfall of Gravitas. Stage one, landing leg deploy. Stage one, landing confirmed. And great and news. Back shut down. As you can see on your screen, Falcon 9 has landed. This marks the 126th landing of a Falcon 9 first stage. Acquisition of signal, Newfoundland. Nominal orbit insertion. This is the 54th overall Starlink mission and 33rd launch of the year, and we just heard confirmation of good orbit on the second stage. We did hear the call out for second stage engine cutoff. So stage two is now carrying 53 Starlink satellites into low Earth orbit. And there's a great live view there. Be sure to check out SpaceX social media for confirmation of Starlink deploy. And thanks for watching. Have a great day.